Nanotoxicology is the study of nanomaterials and how they behave in the body, um, the responses that they induce. Um, and that's important because nanomaterials behave differently to larger substances and chemicals that we've studied in the past. When you make a nanomaterial which is below 100 nanometers in size, it's difficult to predict its biological reactivity because its physical and chemical characteristics change. Nanomaterials have been used for almost every type of application that you can think of, from medicine, herbal remedies that you can buy off the internet, clothing, cosmetics, healthcare products, electronics, all kinds of things. So the potential for exposure to these for humans over time is increasing. People have been studying the toxicology of engineered nanomaterials intensively for about the last 10 years and we're starting to gather a body of data that tells us the relationship between different properties of the nanomaterials and their potential toxic effects. First of all, when I went to university I studied physiology, um, which is about the biology of the human body and how all the different systems in the body work and how they can go wrong. And I was really interested in studying the differences between disease and health and disease mechanisms. Lots of people rely on the type of work that we do. Industry, for example, can make decisions about which nanomaterials to use in which types of products based on the type of information that we generate. They give us the nanomaterials as they're freshly made, they modify them, incorporate them into a product, and we test their toxicity in all of those different stages so that the industry can use that information to help them make decisions about what they're going to do and how they're going to do it in the future. Um, there is actually a shortage of toxicologists in the UK and in the rest of the world, so there are plenty of good job opportunities. One of the most exciting aspects of working in toxicology and in science is the ability to travel and meet people and hear different people's opinions, look at how different people are working, but also where they live. And I've, you know, I've travelled all around the world as part of my career and met amazing people, visited amazing places. It's been a fantastic opportunity.